probably what's most important from a food service application is quality grade. And as you look at menus uh, across the country, you'll see often different quality grades discussed in those menus. You'll see the words USDA Prime, USDA Choice, USDA Select even. And there is another grade that you don't see, which is a very low quality grade, an inferior quality grade, which is called USDA Standard. As we look at what a grader would look at to determine the eating satisfaction from these carcasses in the quality grading system, the first factor, and probably the one that most of you have heard about, is the marbling that's inside these ribeyes. And we're talking about the flex of fat that are inside the ribeye muscle itself. What we have here, this is a side or a half of beef, and now they have segmented this carcass between the 12th rib, and there's 13 ribs in a beef animal, Here's the 12th rib and the 13th rib, and they've cross-sectioned that carcass at that point. And when they do that, that exposes this large muscle, which we call the long isthmus muscle or the ribeye muscle. And the grader will look at this one location to determine the overall quality grade, the marbling score that goes into that quality grade at this point. Now, it's important to point out at this, at this time that what you see in this muscle may not equate to what you'd see throughout the carcass, even... Uh, as you go throughout the entire loin or the rib, that marbling level might change slightly as you go from one muscle to another, and, and might even in some of the round muscles, for example, have quite a bit less uh, marbling in those muscles. So this is the only place that a grader can assess the quality grade. And there has been research that would show that the grade that's determined here does have some relative estimation of tenderness, juiciness, and flavor of other muscles in the carcass as well. So the grader will look at the marbling level, the flex of fat inside this ribeye, and they will first of all come up with that marbling score. Then they will also look at to determine whether the old animal is older or younger when it goes to harvest. And they'll do that looking at the color of the lean, because they know as animals get older, as beef cattle get older, the lean color of this ribeye goes from a bright cherry red color to a darker red color. So they'll look at the color of the ribeye. And second, they'll look at the skeleton because there are some changes that happen in the skeleton, particularly in the cartilage. In young animals, there's lots of cartilage throughout the carcass. And as the animals get older, that cartilage turns to bone. So they can look at those two factors and pretty accurately determine whether this is a young animal or this is an older animal. And why is that important? Well, we have determined that as animals get older, the meat tends to get tougher. So we'll put those two factors together, the maturity, the carcass maturity, the overall estimation of the age of the animal when it was harvested, and the flex of fat inside the muscle. And from that, we'll determine the overall quality grade. Well, the young grades, the grades for these young animals that generally come out of feed yards are prime, choice, select, and standard. The grades for the older cows would be commercial, utility, cutter, and canner. So there is a different grade for the older animals versus the younger animals. Now, when you look at the grades for the, old, uh, the younger animals, prime, choice, select, and standard, the prime is the, the best grade on that standard, then choice, then select, and then finally USDA standard is the lowest grade. It's important to look for the USDA when you receive that product, either at the restaurants or even on a menu, because that USDA puts weight behind those grades. That means that that carcass has been evaluated using this surface back at the packing plants to determine the overall quality grade. And when that quality grade was determined as USDA choice, then actually every cut from this carcass would be called USDA choice. The top sirloin, the strip, the ribeye, the tenderloin. If this was a choice carcass, all of those pieces would be designated as USDA choice. And uh, so it's important that you look for USDA because if they don't use it correctly, then actually there is some legal liability on that person's part if they portray it as a USDA grade and it is.